Yes, ma'am? Sometimes we're more um, caregivers, and we feel like it's an obligation. Like, I feel an obligation to my family, to my children, and it's me pushing more than they're pushing. And it scares me because I need to nurture myself. I've had a huge weight loss, and I feel like if I don't take that time to spend an hour a day exercising, I'll be back to comforting myself in other ways to make up for all that I give throughout the day. Yeah. One of the things I would say to you is, um, you'll need to find your own sense of balance. How many people in this audience would have loved a mother who took such good care of herself that she felt great all the time? I did. I mean, of course. <laughs> yeah. That's what we want. That's who yeah, we want to bring you us up. Because how many of you grew up with mothers who were worn out all the time? Yes. Worn out and tired and didn't have the time for you because they, they couldn't, because they didn't do that for and themselves. And angry. Yes, know? and resentful. Yes. And resentful. Yes. And just trying to get through, just trying to get through all the time. Yeah. You know, it's such a fine boundary as far as being selfish and being giving. Mm -hmm. But I think if, if we can look at it, that when we learn to set those boundaries, what's underneath that is so beautiful. We can make those choices, the sacrificial choices that, you know, we are giving that extra bit, but it comes out of an authentic place. Yeah. And not only does it bless us, it blesses that person because they know that about it. Because that. it comes from love instead of obligation. Yeah. But look, look at how many of you raised your hands when Cheryl asked that question. How many of you would have wanted a mother who'd taken enough care oh, of herself definitely. that she could have had? Isn't that great? Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Because my mother never took care of herself. Right. And therefore, she put herself last, and it has taken me years to overcome that. Um, that it's a huge paradigm yeah, shift. Yeah, because you know what you get when you have a mother who puts herself last? You get a mother that's filled with rage that doesn't get expressed, but it comes out, it ekes out in little ways and you have that, no you, that your psyche picks up on. Yeah. When you're doing things out of resentment, that should be... What happens is you start doing everything then. Even the things right. you would have done willingly, lovingly, freely, you start doing everything out of that resentment mode because you haven't Yeah, made and before choices. resentment comes the guilt thing, too. Yes. My mothers oh, yeah. are guilty, they're guilty, they're guilty, they're guilty, they're guilty, they're guilty. And all of that comes because you haven't filled your own cup first. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Who doesn't need a daily dose of that? So here's just a taste of some of what you'll see.